Hi friends, today I'm sharing our shelf work video on a moon phases and non-zodiac constellations unit study. There are a lot of freebie printables and resources on this shelf, so be sure to check out the description box for those links. What About Moon's poster is from uh, the NASA website. Let me tell you that their website is a wonderful resource for printables, coloring pages, online games, and even recipes and project ideas. I made a DIY lunar calendar to track and journal the lunar phases throughout the month. Moon phase fact cards. These are postcards also from the NASA website uh, with photo photographs taken by NASA's telescopes and satellites. Each postcard has a summary or description. Solar system fact cards I made into a binder ring book. Our Julia Rothman Nature Anatomy book, a constellations, paper cube, stargazing poster, a few vocabulary word cards from the Good and the Beautiful Solar System Science curriculum. And this is a yarn wrapping project I put together for Bella. We might make it into a mobile later on. As the base of our unit or spine, if you will, I'm using the good and the beautiful space science curriculum, the wonders of the universe. This science curriculum holds everything one would need for a solar system study. The illustrations in here are stunning and the lessons are thorough with just enough information. So we're going to go through lesson two stars Lesson six, the moon and its phases. We might get to lesson eight and we will definitely study lesson 16 constellations. We're even provided with a breakdown of supplies needed for each lesson, which I love. And I absolutely love that the supply list is short and easy. Here's a look into lesson six, moon and its phases. So there are plenty of summaries to read to your children and they are guided. There's instruction for engagement and each lesson has a worksheet or two. Uh, there's also a suggestion for journaling. And in this case, it was lunar tracking the lunar phases, which we have been doing. This is the worksheet instructed for this lesson. Um, so I had Bella and Noah use this page as a reference to go ahead and draw or and color in the moon phases. In lesson two, the stars, uh, we were instructed to discuss the colors within this photograph of a star cluster. We made it into a hands-on activity uh, by pairing it with color coordinating gemstones and color tablets. What color? Blue. Blue. And what color is this in Spanish? Azul. Azul. Mm -hmm. You think it matches this one the best? Nothing. I think so. Uh oh, Mama, I ripped it. You ripped it? That's all right. Is there a rock in there? Yeah, Mama, I found blue. Blue? Black. All right. Which one does it match your best? Butter, butter, Which butter. blue? This one? This one. All right. I think that's a great moon rock. I dropped it. What did you say? Mom, what did you say? I, I think that's a great moon rock that she made. Mm -hmm. You guys are making a lot of them. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot. This one. This one, okay? Okay. Here's your had a beautiful display of literature to read with our unit.
constellation study is not complete without stargazing. Recreated constellations with toothpicks and marshmallows for stem. And then we also use these same constellation cards for lacing. My toddler really enjoyed this sticker tray for fine motor practice and as a variation for older children uh, I had them make out or recreate the constellations with the star stickers. I laminated the galaxy printout so it's easy to remove the stickers and reuse. An alphabet seek and find sensory bin and matching activity. Noah had a great time pin poking summer constellations as fine motor practice. Baking a big moon cake to go with our new favorite read was the most memorable moment of this unit for me. Another hit was making moon phases with Oreos. We also paired it with Play-Doh for further use and as a healthier alternative. 